In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, can you actually make money from Amazon by working from home, specifically by using Amazon Mechanical Turk? Well, to answer that question, for the next two hours, I'm going to be sitting here and doing Amazon Mechanical Turk. So if you're interested in finding out how much I was able to make in two hours, and you want to learn more about MTurk, and how you can get paid from Amazon to work from home, then make sure to stay tuned and watch until the end. So I don't know about you guys, but throughout my entire teenage years, even starting at like 11 and 12, I would always search up ways to make money online. Usually the results would all be pretty lame. It would tell me to take surveys, download swag bucks, or watch sponsored videos. And I honestly just didn't like any of those options. But if I had known about Amazon Mechanical Turk back then, oh my gosh, I would have been all over it. So what is Amazon Mechanical Turk? Also called MTurk. MTurk is a marketplace for work that requires human intelligence. In this marketplace, workers have access to thousands of different jobs that they could do whenever it's convenient for them. Each job is called a HIT, and HIT stands for Human Intelligence Task, and you get paid for each HIT that you complete. Working from home sounds great, right? But how much can you actually make from these HITs? Well, the sad statistics actually show that the average earnings is only $2 an hour, with only 4% of people saying they make on average $7.25 an hour, which is less than minimum wage here in Florida. But others claim that it's possible to make significantly more, around $150 to $300 a week, which is really good. So what's the answer? How much do you actually get paid for Amazon Mechanical Turk? Is it $2 an hour or is it $300 a week? So to get to the bottom of this, it's been the next two hours doing Mechanical Turks. Two hours. I also want to note that MTurk is completely different than Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is fulfillment by Amazon and essentially is like drop shipping. So those are totally separate things, totally different ways to make money. A good friend of mine recently started an FBA store and he's seeing progress and success with it. I'm not going to go into too much more detail about FBA, but if you want to see a video explaining FBA and how it works, just let me know in the comments. Here are some examples of hits that you might find on MTurk. You might find paid surveys from universities or businesses. You might be asked to transcribe audio or upload old receipts and put data. You might be asked to take pictures of things around you and your environment. You might verify rebates for apps like Ibotta and Rakuten. You might flag offensive photos or even be asked to read something and give your opinion. There are so many different hits available on MTurk. You can pick any job that interests you. And there's so many options that you're pretty much guaranteed to find something that you like. When I did MTurk for a few months last summer, I really liked to take videos and pictures of my surroundings as well as of myself, which it, it sounds a little weird and it probably was as weird as it sounds. But it's cool, whatever. I figured the best way to show you guys this platform so you can see if it's a good option for you would be to spend the next two hours working on Amazon Mechanical Turks. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. As a little disclaimer, I wanna say this video is not sponsored by Mechanical Turk. This is just me, a 20 year old, on my own journey of financial independence. And I wanna show you guys all the different options there are to start earning more income today. All I ask in return is to go ahead and decimate that like button since I'm gonna be spending the next two hours Two hours. <laughs> the next two hours doing Mechanical Turk. So go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps the channel, it helps the algorithm, and it shows your support. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with Mechanical Turk, and I'll explain more details about it as we're going. So, I'm gonna go to a study room that's closer to the Wi-Fi because where I'm filming right now in the clubhouse has zero Wi-Fi. So let's go check it out over there. All right, we're here in the study room, and I have my Mechanical Turk pulled up. I'm gonna go ahead and set my two hour timer for this. Let's go ahead and do that. Two hours. Two hours from right now to finish this Mechanical Turk. Let's uh, go ahead and jump right into it. So like I said, I'm gonna be talking while I'm turking. Ha, I like that. Talking while I'm turking. Talking while I'm turking. So one thing I wanna mention about MTurk is you have to have a worker's account. If you already have an Amazon account, then it's really easy to follow the steps to sign up for being a worker. I remember when I did it last summer, I think it took three to seven days in order for me to get verified. So one of the hardest parts about MTurk is finding higher paying Turks. So let's go ahead and scroll through here, do some of the options. Here's one cent for a survey, two cents for LinkedIn research. Don't like much of that. You know, just to kick us off in a good place, let's go ahead and get started with that survey. Accept and work. I have 20 minutes, let's go ahead and check it out. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this survey. It's just a simple survey. So I forgot this happens, but I just spent like 10 minutes taking the survey and I didn't qualify. That sucks. That really sucks. So um, it was only one set anyways, but I just spent so much time on it. Wow. All right, let's find another Turk since that one didn't work out. Yeah, that looks good for nine cents. I, I like it. Let's check, let's, all right, I'm, I'm cool with that. Let's check it out. Wow, oh my goodness, okay. I gotta grab my glasses. All right. So we've been doing this now for like 10 minutes. It's fine, it's a little boring. They have so much left of this receipt, dude. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. For uh, all four, nine cents, nice. And the bonus sent for every four, extra four items. So I'm just gonna try to finish this receipt and knock it out. <laughs> so much fun. I'll let you guys know the update once I finish. Y'all, I'm about to get so delirious <laughs> in these two hours, but it's cool, it's gonna be fun, it's, it's gonna be fun to watch. He just finished inputting 37 receipt items into Mechanical Turk. I'm about to click submit, here we go. Nice, it's been submitted. So how much did I make for that? Let's do some math. So four, eight. I got 13 cents from doing that, and that took, let's see how long. That took the better part of 30 minutes for nine cents. <laughs> Dope. I spent about 40 minutes now on Mechanical Turk, and I've only made about 14 cents. That's assuming that I did everything correctly on that Turk and they actually follow through with paying me. If there's any sort of inaccuracies, a lot of times they won't follow through with the payment because the job wasn't done correct. Whew, let's take those off. That's a really great segue into something else I want to bring up. And that is that some people say that MTurk is basically just an online sweatshop. And that's because some of these jobs only give one to two cents, a couple pennies. Hits usually range from one cent to two dollars, but in general, the ones that you're gonna qualify for just getting started, they're gonna be on the lower end. On that note, there are hits that do pay more than just a few cents. And if we look here, let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. Here's one for a dollar, two dollar. Wow, why aren't there that many? So yeah, essentially the hits that pay more require you to qualify for them. And to get qualified for these hits, you either only have to click qualify. A lot of times there's requirements such as how many hits you've completed in the past, as well as other requirements that may be specific for the individual hits themselves. As I mentioned a little bit, since I fully immersed myself into Mechanical Turk last summer, I have a lot of those qualifications under my belt. Yet, as you can see, it doesn't really change anything. I still don't really qualify for the higher paying hits. And that's because to qualify for all those higher paying hits, it might take a while of turking before you can get there. But it definitely is possible. Let's not do that. Nope, 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 nope. Qualifying for these higher paying hits and then doing those higher paying hits is the key to actually making a decent income with Mechanical Turk. As I mentioned earlier, people have reported that they can make $150 to $300 a month with Mechanical Turk. And their secret to that is to spend time with Mechanical Turk so that they can get qualified for all the higher paying hits and therefore the more money you can make. So let's go ahead and keep going. Ooh, label parts of a 3D building models. I could do this, that doesn't look that hard. Before I get started with this Turk, let's see how much time is left on our two hour timer. An hour and 11 minutes. So let's get started with this next Turk. I just finished another hit, so much fun. Ugh. How long did it take me? Let's see. That one took me a long time because I had to learn how to do it too. So the whole learning process with the video, kind of confusing at first. So let's see how long it took me. That took me about 30 minutes. So that was about 25 cents for the hit. I probably got a lot wrong because it was kind of confusing. So I'm gonna guess maybe I got like a 10 cent bonus. So that whole 30 minutes, I got like 30 cents. Ugh. All right. Chop chop. Um, so let's try to find a survey since the first survey didn't work. Doing these again after about a year since using it reminds me of why I stopped. It seemed like a really cool side hustle to have, especially working for Amazon from your laptop. I mean, it doesn't get better than that, right? I was so into MTurk when I first started. I used to do it in the morning before I left for my internship, and then I would do it at night before I went to bed. Um, and I would average like five or ten dollars a week. It was just all such tedious work 
for such low reward. But there are ways to find higher paying hits. My personal favorite way, and in my opinion, the easiest way to find these higher paying hits is to go on the subreddit, hits worth turking for. On there, users will post the highest paying hits available that you could do so you can earn more with mturk. We just finished labeling the different parts of the dog, which was actually pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit that. Boom, another turk, good to go. Have you ever tried Amazon Mechanical Turk as a side hustle? What'd you think of it? Let me know in the comments. I have less than 30 minutes to complete this challenge. Actually, I have 26 minutes and 33 seconds. So, let's keep going. This is the overview of all the hits I've ever completed and how much I got paid for them. So as you can see from hits, um, I got $8 in bonuses and I'm not gonna lie, I loved getting bonuses. That was one of my favorite things about mTurk. So in total, I made $33.82, um, which again, I say, not sure if it was worth it because I spent an entire summer building up this side hustle. So again, we'll see how much I make after these two hours. We'll debrief about it and then you can make the decision whether it's worth it for you or not. Nothing. It didn't work. Surprise. Surprise. Okay. 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 All right. Here's here we go. Here's a paid screener. Five cents for the paid screener. That's good. Cool. 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 This one's working. All right. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started with that. So update the last survey I just took. I didn't qualify for it, but I still got what was it? Five cents for just taking the survey. So that's good, that's, that's nice. It just asked me to put my worker's ID in. I'll throw up a, a screen capture of how to do that. Pretty easy. I didn't qualify for the survey, which is lame. No surveys that I qualified for today, but still got something, which is good. Here we go, the final countdown. It's the final countdown. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, 2, 1, 0. Two hours, baby. The time has come. The big reveal of how much I was able to make on Amazon Mechanical Turk for doing it for two hours. As you saw, a lot of the time was searching for the high paying Turks, trying to qualify for them, trying to learn how to do them, and then actually doing them. A lot of them didn't even work, which was weird. But let's go ahead and tally up how much I was able to make in two hours. All right, so that first hit we had, if I remember correctly, was about 14 cents plus I believe the next Turk was five cents. The following one was 35 cents. The last one was that survey just now that I didn't qualify for, but still got five cents. So in total, for spending two hours solely doing Amazon Mechanical Turk, <laughs> I made a total of 59 cents. <laughs> oh gosh. 59 cents. So let's answer the question, was it worth it? <laughs> In my opinion, heck no. That took two hours to make 59 cents. 59 cents, I can make more by looking in the couch cushions for change. One thing I wanna note is that with mTurk, it really all comes down to how fast you can work. So if you can work extremely efficiently, then mTurk might be an option for you. But for the vast majority, working at an average speed like I did, mTurk is not lucrative and you're definitely not gonna become rich by doing it. I feel like I could be using my time doing something more productive. That being said, I'm all about working hard and saving as much as you can. So if you're wondering what the best alternative is for a side hustle you can do from home with very little effort and make actual money, well for me, that's Ibotta. I would say Ibotta is my favorite side hustle and you can make so much more. And I try to use it every week if I can. If you're interested in getting started with Ibotta, it is completely free. Plus, if you sign up using the link in the description, you can get $10 cash when you redeem your first offers. The sign up bonus might be $20 now. I think I might have saw that somewhere. Well, either way, if it's $10 or $20, make sure to go ahead and use that link so you can get that free money and get started with what I think is the best and easiest side hustle to get started with. If you're interested in learning about other side hustles, I highly encourage you to check out my video right here where I go over my top five favorite side hustles that I use as a student. Be sure to tune into next week's episode of the Lifestyle Design Show because I'm gonna be going into student minimalism and what it means to be a minimalist while in college. 
That's a wrap on today's video. I hope you got value from it. If you did, make sure to subscribe as I post new videos every single Wednesday and click the little bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm active on there pretty much every single day. So if you wanna to get to know me a little better, feel free to follow me there. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This was actually a really fun video to make, even though I did do Mechanical Turk for two hours, which was kind of